Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is a prophecy report entitled, Completely Irrelevant. It is my opinion that America is no longer one nation under God. We are becoming a nation of liars, weak and completely irrelevant. The corruption of our media is just a reflection of the corruption of our nation. Jesus ended his conversation with Nicodemus with these words, This is the condemnation, that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds might be made manifest, that they are wrought in God." Lost people do not like the truth. They do not like the God of the Bible. They hate what the Bible says about world government, abortion, the LGBTQ agenda, Jesus being the only way, etc. They prefer the darkness. It has impacted many that stand behind a pulpit and many that sit in a pew. God's judgment will soon come upon our completely irrelevant nation, the world's completely irrelevant globalist leaders, and all who love darkness. I wish it were not so, but God's word must be fulfilled. Here are more events that seem to indicate that God's judgment will soon come upon the world. Concerning an economic collapse in the U.S., consumer prices increased 4.8% annually in March 2023, even though the Federal Reserve keeps increasing interest rates to curb inflation. On March 11th, it was reported that 236 companies have filed for bankruptcy in the first four months of 2023, the highest number in 13 years. Concerning natural disasters, on May 10th, it was reported that these three events occurred on the same day. Severe flooding and a landslide in the Democratic Republic of Congo killed at least 422 people, left about 5,000 people unaccounted for, so the death toll will keep rising, destroyed about 1,200 homes, damaged about 1,800 homes, and impacted about 20,000 more people. Wildfires in Russia killed 21 people and destroyed more than 5 thousand buildings. A strong 7.6 earthquake struck off the coast of Tonga, but no damage or casualties were reported. This is what six months of rain falling in 36 hours can do. In the city of Faenza, the water is chest deep as rescue crews go house to house. Across northern Italy, 13,000 people have had to leave their homes. <laughs> And many villages are still cut off, with 120 landslides destroying roads, mobile phone masts and electricity pylons. For those isolated communities, the Coast Guard helicopter is the only evacuation option. The view from the air giving some sense of the scale of this disaster. Probably is the biggest kind of flood in the last 40 or 50 years in Italy. In many cases, people that lost everything, lost their house, lost their affects, lost their, the, the most important records of, uh, of the history of the family, for example. And the floods are not confined to Italy. Large swathes of Central Europe are also affected. This is Northwest Bosnia. People's homes are flooded and no one is bringing any help, Diana says. This is a catastrophe. In the city of Novi Sad in Serbia, people had to be rescued from cars overnight. And Croatia has also been badly hit. Climate change is not just an issue for scientists, the Croatian interior minister told reporters. It is something creating consequences we can already feel. With so much infrastructure destroyed, it's already estimated the economic consequences will run to many billions of pounds while the human cost of a disaster of this size may be incalculable. Catherine Jones, 5 News. Concerning perilous times, a borderless world, on May 6th, U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers discovered 
an improvised explosive device in a vehicle that was crossing from Mexico into Arizona. The driver was detained and state and federal officials were notified. America's current administration does not seem to care if other bombs have crossed the border or how many more could be on the way. Concerning efforts to destroy Israel, starting on May 3rd, Muslims fired hundreds of rockets from Gaza into Israel. On May 9th, Israel started striking back with aircraft and bombs. Thousands of Jewish citizens are living in bomb shelters, and thousands more are on alert in their homes. Despite foreign efforts to negotiate a ceasefire, Israeli officials said it's not likely to happen. It is more likely that the fighting will continue. On May 12th, it was reported that about 1,000 rockets have now been fired from Gaza into Israel. Israel has responded by attacking 190 targets and killed the top six Islamic Jihad leaders. On May 14th, it was reported that 1,400 rockets have been fired from Gaza into Israel that killed two Israelis. Israeli bombing had killed at least 33 Muslim attackers and injured about 150 Palestinians. According to Bible prophecy, Israel cannot be destroyed. The Muslims have hundreds of thousands of rockets and missiles, but no weapon formed against Israel will prosper. God will not allow the destruction of Israel, because his word must be fulfilled. But he will not allow Israel to have peace until the Jews accept Jesus as their Messiah, another prophecy that must be fulfilled. The Netherlands is a small nation with just under 18 million people. It has 12 provinces, two of which are called North Holland and South Holland. Together they are referred to as Holland, and 70% of that area is owned by small farmers that raise cattle. On May 10th, it was announced that the European Union's main executive body has given the government of the Netherlands permission to force half of the farmers in Holland to sell their land to the government because the government wants to take their land out of production and seize their cattle to reduce air population. Have you got that? The government is planning to use climate change to control about one-third of Holland, idle land, and get rid of the cattle. Now, it is easy for me to believe that multitudes will die from famine during the tribulation period, and multitudes will own nothing. But it is difficult for me to believe that people will be happy in that situation. It would not surprise me if the government bought the farmer's land, then seized their bank accounts during an economic crisis. Concerning an economic collapse, America's national debt and the interest rates are skyrocketing, and they are expected to skyrocket even more as our government refinances old debt that was financed at lower rates. We are now in big trouble, and our problems could grow worse fast. Finally, are you rapture ready? 